From being on the front line for his country in the war against Russia, to knocking out 13 of his 20 opponents so far, Alexander Usyk is a champion in the ring and outside. And as you might expect, it doesn't come without a few sacrifices. The first of which is uninterrupted training always. No matter what goes down on the world stage and in his personal life, Usyk's got his training basics covered and it keeps him consistent. In the long run, the impact of his regular training schedule adds up to give him a stellar edge over his competition. The 36-year-old has a lot to look forward to, and it starts with defending his legacy. He's also looking forward to covering new ground. Now, this new ground includes Saudi Arabia. The kingdom is the latest professional battlefield for the cat, where he'll take his talents to defend his belt against Anthony Joshua. Not just that, it's also the site for his rematch match with the WBA, IBF, and WBO titles on the line once more in a winner-takes-all bout. Unfortunately, the match was disrupted by the war in Ukraine where the boxer turned into a real-life fighter. I imagine it was an eye-opener in more ways than one, and fighting in a full-blown war itself will give him much more mileage in the tank compared to a civilian like Joshua. Of course, it's not totally fair to compare military training training with a boxing ring, they are totally different battles, with one a stake for survival and the other for a professional legacy. But I can also totally see Usyk's drills with the Kyiv Territorial Defense Force as an elite training ground in itself, though the former cruiserweight unified world champ has gone traditional too. For any champ, particularly one who's keen to go up against Anthony Joshua with revenge on his mind, well-rounded boxing training is just a basic. So despite his commitment to his homeland, or shall I say because of it, the native Ukrainian went to Europe last year to prepare for a proper training cap. The paces he put himself through really paid off, because in August last year, Usyk confirmed his place in the all-time greats list by defeating his British opponent a second time. It was so bad that an immediate shakeup took place in AJ's camp. The Brit went through coaches Rob McCrae and Robert Garcia and finally started working with James. On the other hand, the cat has a lot more consistency in his camp. This despite coming from a country at war where things are far from constant at the moment. His dominant performance against the Brit was evidence that his method of consistency, back to basics training, was working really well. So his fundamentals have always been on point. It wouldn't be possible otherwise for Usyk to make such a meteor leap from cruiserweight to heavyweight. In just his third fight in the heavyweight division, he chopped down to a two-time champion twice. Now he's ready to go up against Tyson Fury, tentatively lined up for April 29th. You can imagine such competition must bring out the best in the Ukrainian heavyweight. Just watching their skill sets and coming up with counters to those would be a masterclass in training. I think that type of mutual respect is a key to Alexander dominant streak. He watches his opponents closely, all top-level fighters with different styles, but the same dominant streak in them. The fact that he can find the chink in their armor and power through like he did against AJ is a sign he's got his training gear on just right. You see, most of the groundwork for the fights is laid down by a boxer's training camp. The rounds themselves are crucial tests of how disciplined and well-trained the boxers were in the lead-up to it, or there's no way you could come out on top, much less go the whole distance against world champion heavyweights. Just the amount of stamina that's needed to take it to the finish line is a reflection of how good the training was. It's not that hard to tell either. It literally shows in his size difference right before a fight. For his first title defense for all four of his belts, the heavyweight looked huge against against AJ. This was a gradual improvement from the massive underdog and undersized state you saw him in before the first match. That's all changed now, as you saw Usyk shifting gears and much bigger for his second fight. Maybe it was a trade-off between speed and strength that saw the priority shift for him. Only one thing remains a top priority for him though, winning. Plus, his mental game was incredible too, with a dominant win against AJ despite a home crowd at Tottenham 
Tottenham Hotspur. It was a unanimous washout for the former champion by Usyk, and I think a big part of him not just physically battling it out for all 12 rounds, but also staying calm in front of so many pressures was due to his training camp. It prepared him for a bigger champ with a bigger track record and successfully took him down. The southpaw from Ukraine showed his ability to switch up his training approaches too instead of relying on one formula, even against the same opponent. In his title defense, he went even harder. When Usyk switches up techniques, like bulking up and going big for a fight, you can bet it's not due to aesthetics or anything superficial. Instead, he aims to win with his camp completely focused on that goal. To achieve that objective, he also trains with a single-minded determination after a period of experimentation. Now, when he's preparing for his historic clash with the Gypsy King, I'm sure we'll see a different side of his than against Joshua. Even so, his fundamentals stay the same, which makes him a dangerous opponent at short notice and against a diverse set of opponents. He's got the same training advice for his two-time opponent, AJ, spilling his trade secrets to him. It's fairly simple, keep working. The 36-year-old unified WBA champ was classy in victory too, despite him outclassing the Brit on two occasions now. He said he hoped AJ would keep working and that he's welcoming a third match after already going 24 rounds against him. He's also lived by this motto for all his careers against opponents from Russia and Britain. Remember when he outboxed Murat Gassaev in Moscow, taking the fight to his national antagonist, but no hard feelings when it comes to boxing. He's a total pro. This made separating his personal dislikes or animosity towards fighters an easy enough task for the Ukrainian southpaw. He doesn't dwell on details like that and instead focused on working hard. It's more his internal mindset of turning negatives into positives, which lets him keep any personal dislikes out of his mind when training to win. In fact, he also uses it to his advantage. This is what his corner man, Russ Onber, had to say about Usyk's ability to turn distractions to his advantage or to use this as fuel. I guess that's one way to make the best of a bad situation. He does it plenty of times too, drawing from challenges to fire up his prep work. It does help that Usyk has seen plenty of challenges both at home and abroad in his professional and personal life both. He seems to brush it off each time. That's a close assessment, but it doesn't tell the whole story, which you know now, thanks to people from his corner like Rus and his opponent's former trainer, Tony Sims, who said that the heavyweight showstopper's focus, determination, and sheer willpower is a great asset to his boot camp. It's also just the fundamental, because not being distracted is only the first step for the cat before he embarks on a training routine that covers striking, stamina, and so much more. And that's all for how Alexander prepares for his fights.